Hey guys, I didn't hear you with a new video. Probably the last one in the crystal series, unless people really want some more unconventional builds. This build is quite costly, so I wouldn't advise people to go and grind with it. One death can set you back a lot of time, as most of these crystals shatter <laughs> if you look at them really funny. So, uh, of course, this only applies when they re enable the crystal shattering on PvE dead once more. So, uh, for now, you can run whatever you like without any danger of it getting destroyed. Also, for this build, I'll assume you want to deal damage and not be an evasion tank. Because uh, if you want a properly functioning evasion or hybrid build, you need pen armor. So, uh, we will go with the glass cannon in this crystal build. Or in case of defending your grind spot, the plan is to wreck them fast. Now, about armor, in order to start becoming less squishy, you really need to be running that boss gear with these crystals. And if you get focused, you're still gonna be dead. So, uh, yeah, don't get focused by multiple people, guys. But uh, if you plan to run an RBF build with anything less than that boss gear, like a green set, Akum, or tri boss gear, I think you should keep the silver and save it to acquire said boss gear first and then run some uh, well, well, meanwhile run cheap crystals like uh, my pve build it, it really ain't that super expensive also a disclaimer like in the previous videos how you get to 4 4 or 5 4 cost and crit is up to you there really is no bad way to max out these stats but do check around first to see if your class really needs crit as some classes have huge crit modifier on their skills, so this guy doesn't really go into that, nor do I have the class knowledge on this subject for all the classes. So do a little bit of research, see how much crit you actually need and work around that. About weapon and armor, the icons are just icons, just use whatever gear you like to use. So uh, as usual, let's get started with the gloves. Gloves, really easy. Gin Vipers is what you want, because you want to hit as much as possible. Um, especially if somebody's running an evasion build, you want to be able to hit and kill those. The absolute minimum should be 300 accuracy, but 350 is very recommended. You can also run RBF gems in your gloves if you plan to fix your crit rate through your weapon sockets or you already have higher accuracy than, than normal by uh, yeah, other means like using accuracy crystals in your weapon sockets. So uh, the offhand of course this is a no brainer. Here we go with two red spirit crystals for the plus 6 human damage on top of the plus 10 hidden AP not to mention the extra HP. Helmet, red RBF crystals for a total of plus 10 damage versus humans. Like I said before, this isn't an evasion build, so we won't be going with plus 20 evasion crystals. But you can add hand hooms in your helmet socket, depending on you want to fix a little bit of the squishiness. Boots, we have red RBF adamantine, Nothing says you're dead faster than getting knocked down. Or if you are positive about your iframe or super armor skill use, you can change them around with hand hooms or for more human damage, RBF gems. Um, I forgot the name about those, but they'll, they'll pop up on the screen. Armor, multiple options here really. RBF for the plus 10 damage versus humans. Are the blue evasion crystals that provide plus 10 special attack evasion. I know, I know, this isn't an evasion build, but the thing is about these crystals, they offer you a flat 20% chance to avoid a special attack. Special attacks are down attacks, back attacks are air attacks, so you have a flat 20% chance to avoid all damage from those skills. It's pretty cheap, they're pretty awesome, or you can use this place to put an extra set of hand hooms if you already have some in other sockets and you just need some HP or damage resist. Um, one more thing about the special attack evasion, you don't need an evasion build to run these. They, they just work on their own and they, they do their work and they're pretty chill. Now we come to weapons. If you follow this guide, 
you will need Jin, Bon or One Crystals to flesh out your crits and um, attack or, or casting speed. Or if you can live with chugging down elixirs and crit food and add a socket to your costume with a black spirits glass, then make a costume with tailoring coupons so you can add plus one crit to the socket. You can easily get one or two crit from food, two from elixirs and plus one from the costume socket. So if you're not lazy like me and do proper buff rotations, you can get away with uh, zero to two crit pretty much. Later on we will get droughts that add plus crit so it's gonna be even easier to skip having crit entirely. So, uh, but not right now, you're, you're gonna have to rotate something. Or be like me and just get four or five. I think I have six <laughs> because I, I need to change something still. But uh, yeah, you, you get the picture. Now, this build, depending on, on how many hand hooms you use with it, will still be quite squishy. But uh, human damage will make up for it. That said, hidden AP and plus human damage is very alike in terms of damage potential. It's just a thought to have. To keep in mind when fleshing out your build around your budget. I don't know. 